everyone, I'm Amisi Kayo, number one Kaswa ambassador. Today I'm here with my father and my brother from New York. And I'm going to be interviewing him about his move to Kaswa so many years ago when no one wanted to live in Kaswa and Kaswa was literally a village. Can you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and I hope you enjoy this video. Hello! <laughs> Then early 80s, nobody liked Dansma, moved to Adenta, nobody liked Adenta, moved to Ajimota. And I saw Kaswa being on the I main Kekos Road, accessibility is good, and it's also close to Accra, and any type of day you can get a car here. I saw the vision, I saw that this is a big thing that is going to happen to Ghana, so I want to be part of the, you know, pioneers in Kaswa. I want to make my own issue going in Kaswa. That's why I moved in. Wow. And I've never regretted moving here. Okay, wow. That's, that's very inspiring. <laughs> so, did you face any challenges? Oh, yes. Uh, initially, when I came, no, there were, there were no offices here. Telecommunication was no good. Was there electricity? Uh, uh, electricity, there was no electricity, there was no water. Only a few places had it, but I know that just a matter of time those things came. And you know, you, I moved to uh, this house. Uh, when I moved to this house, there was no light, there was no water, but I was prepared and we moved in. Then it was even incomplete, it was no completed house, uh, it didn't have fence wall, it was half roofed. But we're moving, you know, there's nothing sweet than living in your own house. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> so, didn't your friends think you were crazy or anything? You know what? What I was doing is that every holidays, I will just bring, organize my friends and come around. When I bring them here, we'll have a goat, we'll uh, kill the goat, uh, we'll have kebab, we'll have fun. So, actually, I made all of them also be very interested in the place. And they all so, move here. So, you know, anytime we can, it was just full of fun. And, you know, and my plan was also to move a lot of friends here so that when I come, I will not be lonely. Yeah. So, so far, I've brought more than 1,000 people to the car. No, well, let me say more than 2,000 people to the Wow, more. that's amazing. And it's not just people, it's families. Families? Yeah. That is amazing. Wow, I hope you're enjoying this video. Can you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Oh, so, I'm almost uh... Living in the city, Accra, where everyone wanted to live, how was it like transitioning from Accra to Kaswa? Oh, you know, let me say, I'm, I was born and bred in the village, so you know, village life was something that I was a bit used to. So, but I knew that I always want to be, you know, part of a development. You get that? So I just wanted to be part of the history of Kaswa. No, that was what was exciting me and that was my motivation. So you, you obviously 
obviously didn't come alone. You were married then. Oh yes, I was married. Initially, my wife didn't like the idea so much, <laughs> but that did not discourage me. I said, okay, I'm a village. I'll move there. I'll rent a place for this Accra. <laughs> because, uh, yeah. no, excuse me, sometimes I have been stuck in certain work my, in my village. Mm -hmm. You get this. But along the line, you know, you also got the vision and we moved there happily and, you know, all the best people. So, is there anything you would have done different? Oh, you see, when I came to Castle, the first plot I bought, I bought 12 plots. They oh. showed me 12 plots. And I said, yeah, I'll buy all. So I bought all the 12 plots, I said, I'll go. But that is not where I built my house. Yeah. No, where I bought my plot was a, a, a kind of flat house, a flat land. But I also wanted, you know, I wanted a different landscape because I was doing landscape. So I also uh, bought this place. This place is a big hilly top, windy. Uh, yeah. So I said, I know this is where I'll put my house. Because the other 12 plots I bought, I give some to friends and other things. I said, no, if I live here, everything I do will be knocking. I want salt, I want, uh, <laughs> yeah, I want this, I want that. So let me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I, you know, I moved down here, but you know, it has been very interesting and I've never regretted coming here. Wow, wow. <laughs> so, in short, how would you summarize your whole experience in Kapwa? Oh, what I would say is that, you know, what I hoped and had that vision, that vision is gradually coming, coming to pass. Yes. Because now I see casual population is over thousands, about 400,000. Yes. You get when I move here, we are not even up to 10,000. So now about 400,000. And it's, it's one of the emerging cities in Ghana. Yes. And I tell you, every business want to have a branch in Ghana. Yes. And it's not just for getting us. Because there is something special about this place. Mm -hmm. And politically, too, it's a political hotbed. Mm -hmm. You know, we are not just for one party. We keep changing the parties. So, Kaswa is a lot for everybody. Everybody is welcome. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, in news, there are a lot of negative things people say about Kaswa. But I tell you, it's only the people who don't live here who say all those negative stuff. But we, the people who here, we know what we have here. And I tell you, things are working and we're going to work for us. So, what would you tell anyone who is interested in maybe buying property in Kaswa or maybe moving to Kaswa? What would you say to that person if maybe someone from Accra has told the person that Accra is a, Kaswa is a village and don't move? I've there. lived here 25 years. I don't have a security. I've lived peacefully with all my environment. Nobody has ever attacked me. And I tell you, most of the stories that you hear about Kaswa are really not Kaswa. You know, it's because it's an emerging place. You know, yes. you expect that. You know, there are a few this thing. But I tell you, it's one of the safest places to live in Ghana. And I love living here. And I'll continue. I also agree with my friends. Hey, come along, come along to Kaswa and you will love it. Even the air here is special. It's special. You can see the hair blowing my <laughs> Yeah. By the way, this is my brother, Nana Jesse. And when my parents moved to Kaswa, he was about two years old. How was it like moving to Kaswa? Do you remember anything at all? <laughs> 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 I don't remember what I said. But, but I actually remember the roof not being done. I remember they got a bamboo to the hall. And there was one time my, my family. When you came here, you was a baby. I was a baby. That's all I remember from that. But do you think you would have preferred living in Kaswa Kasu or in Accra? I mean, like, I'd, I'd prefer living in Kaswa, but that's all I know. <laughs> Thank you, makes sense. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Kindly hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Remember that I draw your life is how you make it. Alright.